Okay, so here's another example of a radical equation. It looks really scary, but this one actually isn't so bad. Uh, what we're going to do here to make it a little bit easier is we're going to add the square root of x to both sides. And when I add the square root of x to both sides, it's actually going to make the solution a little simpler, and you'll, you'll see why that happens. Okay, uh, So we're going to wind up with the square root of x minus 19 is equal to, because this is going to cancel right here, and then we're going to have the square root of x minus 1. Uh, and now to cancel this radical, we're going to square it. But on the other side, this is a little weird. We have to square the whole side, not just the radical. So we have to put parentheses around it and square. When I square this side, it's just going to be x minus 19, because that's what's under the radical. But over here, this is going to be a little weird. Let me, let me work it out right here. This is basically the square root of x minus 1 times the square root of x minus 1. And so now I'm going to have to distribute. So I'm going to do you know, the method that I, with the hills and valleys. So I'm going to do the square root of x times the square root of x. Well, that's just x. Okay, Remember, when we multiply the square root of something times the square root of the exact same thing, all it does is cancel the square root symbol. So we have x. Then we have the square root of x times negative 1. That's negative square root of x. And then uh, we have negative 1 times square root of x, which is minus another square root of x. And then negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. This right here, these are like terms. We can combine those. And so we wind up with x minus 19 is equal to x minus, x mi or minus the square root of x minus the square root of x is minus 2 excuse me, minus 2 square root of x. Now, I know this is looking terrible, but it's actually going to become okay in just a minute, plus 1. So now look at something interesting here. If I were to subtract x here, watch this. I'm going to minus x here and minus x here, because I'm minusing the same thing from both sides. What it's going to do is it's going to cancel the x on both sides. And this makes it now a lot easier. We now have negative 19 is equal to negative 2 square root of x plus 1. And now if I subtract 1 here and subtract 1 here, I want, I'm going to move over here. That gives me negative 20 is equal to negative 2 square root of x. It's getting way easy here. Now watch. I'm going to divide by negative 2 here, divide by negative 2 here. Here it cancels the negative 2. And negative 2 divided by negative 2 here winds up being 10 is equal to the square root of x. And now, if I square here and square here, I wind up with x is equal to 10 squared, which is 100. And that is the answer to my problem. And it wound up being way easier. I bet you thought this was going to become a huge disaster, but it's not as bad as you thought it was.